Prince George and Princess Charlotte joined their royal cousins as they attended the Queen's traditional lunch at Buckingham Palace today. George, five, looked serious as he arrived for the family feast with younger sister Charlotte, three, who appeared to be happily waving out of the car window. The royal youngsters, who were joined by Nanny Maria Theresa Turi and Rallo, were driven from their home at Kensington Palace by Father Prince William, with their mother Kate sitting in the front seat alongside him. Prince Louis, who is still just seven months old, did not appear to join the rest of the family at the Christmas lunch today. However, George and Charlotte were joined by their cousins at the event, including Lady Louise Windsor, Isla Phillips, and Mia Tindall. Lady Louise, 15, looked stylish in a denim shirt as she arrived at the palace with her mother Sophie Wessex. Meanwhile, Isla, 6, the youngest daughter of Peter Phillips and his wife Autumn, wore a festive red tweed dress as she was driven to the Christmas lunch by her father. Mia, 4, was seen arriving at the palace with mother Zara and father Mike, although baby sister Lena did not appear to accompany them for the lunch. The youngest generation of the royal family have had plenty opportunity to spend time with each other this year, thanks to two big weddings. Charlotte and George, along with Savannah and Isla Phillips and Mia Tindall, acted as bridesmaids and page boys at Princess Eugenie's wedding, while Lady Louise and her brother James, Viscount Severn, were special attendants. Maud Windsor who is the daughter of Lord Frederick Windsor and granddaughter of Prince and Princess Michael of Kent, was also a bridesmaid at Eugenie's wedding, and was spotted arriving at the Queen's lunch today. The Queen's traditional Christmas lunch provides the monarch with the opportunity to spend time with members of the extended family who will not be joining her at her Norfolk estate, as well as senior royals. The family gathering at the palace usually takes place midweek shortly before the royal family head to Sandringham for the 25th. The Queen and her family usually wait until the day before Christmas to decorate their tree at Sandringham House in Norfolk, gathering in the white drawing room on Christmas Eve to put the finishing touches to a 20-feet tree cut from the estate. This year, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, along with George, Charlotte, and Louis, will be celebrating Christmas this year in Norfolk despite previous reports that they would be spending the day with the Middletons. It comes amid rumors of a rift between the Cambridges and Sussexes, following the announcement Meghan and Harry will be moving away from Kensington Palace to Frogmore Cottage in Windsor next year.